NJ Transit has some good news for once. A beloved one-stop shop is getting a 24-hour location in South Jersey. An art showcase in Jersey City honors Women's History Month. And we've got some Jersey jams for you to wash your hands to. Happy Friday, folks. I'm Libby Cardone, and I've been trying to explain what a jug handle is to an out-of-stater. And you're listening to Today in NJ for Friday, March 13th, 2020. Friends, our NJ Transit prayers have finally been answered. No longer will you need to cross your fingers as the bus approaches, hoping it won't be full with the dreaded next bus sign illuminated. NJ Transit was just approved for a $19.6 million contract to build 25 articulated buses. You know, those are the ones that bend in the middle and are longer than a regular bus, and they can move more people. I don't know about you, but I always called them accordion buses, but I guess articulated works too. So if you ride on routes 123, 126, 128, 156, 158, or 159, you're in luck. These buses should be coming in spring, and I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to riding in the bendy part. We've got some big Wawa news, everybody, which is everybody's favorite kind of news, of course. Bridgeton is making everybody and their hoagies jealous because they just announced they're getting a 24-hour Wawa and gas station. Specifically, you can find it at Route 49 at the Bank Street Extension. Jealous? You should be. Construction is set to begin around the end of the month on a 5,585-square-foot store that will be open around the clock. Why can't all Wawa's be 24 hours? I want to be able to satisfy my coffee craving at 2 a.m., you know? The Jersey City Theater Center has a rad new exhibition opening starting today, March 13th. It's called Resistant Women, Art, Empowerment, and Activism. The showcase is to honor the courage, compassion, and conviction of women who continue to fight against sexism and discrimination as a celebration of Women's History Month. The show ends March 27th, so definitely check it out before it's gone. We've got more information about the showcase that you can see by heading over to nj.com or by clicking on the link in our show notes. Let's be real. By now, you've probably washed your hands so many times that they're dry and cracked, and sang the happy birthday song to yourself so much that you're expecting presents and cake. Well, never fear, friends. I've got some Jersey jams that will put a little spice in your soap. Not literally, of course. From Jersey native Nancy Sinatra, try singing the opening to Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down. Of course, we can't leave the boss out, so try the opening to Dancing in the Dark. After all, you know, you can't start a fire without a spark, and you can't really wash your hands without some soap. Lastly, and my personal favorite, I recommend singing along to Blondie's Heart of Glass. Did you know that Debbie Harry is a Jersey native? Our reporter Amy Kuparinski gathered up a bunch more of Jersey's finest tunes to scrub to. And you can find them on NJ.com or by clicking on the link in our show notes. That's all we've got for today in NJ. If you're hungry for more news, you can check us out at NJ.com. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode. Check out our show notes for information about the stories we mentioned today. And send in any suggestions you have for stories at podcasts at NJAdvanceMedia.com. I'm Libby Cardone, and I'm going to go see who I can talk to about changing the name of articulated buses to accordion buses. Have a great day, New Jersey.